there are a lot of misperceptions about descending steep terrain. Most riders tend to move rearward too much out of fear or get too tense. This is what I call the fight or flight mechanism. As I approach a steep descent, I actually want to move forward into it. Moving forward toward a steep descent at the kneecaps is going to bring my elbows into a bent position. This is going to allow my arms to be ready to extend as I move down the descent. In order for my arms to extend, I need to be relaxed. So my little mantra for moving into steep descents is to move forward and relax. Again, as I move forward, I'm creating elbow bend so that my arms can extend. And as I move into a steep descent, any little bump, rock, or root along the way is going to reposition the bike back underneath me. So that I'm going to look a little bit like a jockey on a horse as I move down a steep descent. Rarely do I ever want to get to where my arms are fully extended. So I'm going to be moving in a way that allows me to be moving within my arms so that I have a little bit of joint bend at the elbow at almost all times. The best way to get started with this is to find some simple undulating terrain. Maybe some rolling bumps or something like that on a pump track and start coming into it with a little bit of speed. As you move toward the bumps, you're simply going to nudge your kneecaps forward and relax the arms. This is going to start conditioning you to get ready for steep descents. From there, you might go to your local park or riding area and find a bank or something like that with variable descents down it. You can start with one of the less steep descents and work your way up, each time reminding yourself to move forward at the kneecaps and relax the arms. As we move forward toward the descent, we want to think about moving forward toward the horizon line. So at the very top of the descent, as I'm about to move in, I'm going to meet that horizon line with my kneecaps. This is putting me in a perfect position to let the arms extend down the back slope. For those of you who are more experienced, you can actually start to move into these descents a little bit more quickly. And timing is incredibly important to ride at a high level. We still want to move toward the horizon line with the kneecaps, but we're going to do so more rapidly when we're moving more quickly. This is going to give us the byproduct of having flexion and extension. So as I start to move more quickly into a descent, I'm going to move forward more rapidly into it, which is going to allow the arms to extend more rapidly. The phenomenon of flexion and extension is such that as I move forward more rapidly into my body, my arms will naturally extend more rapidly. So I'm not actually pushing forward with the hands when I come down a steep descent. I'm simply moving forward toward the horizon line and letting the arms extend as I move in. Posture is incredibly important for doing this well. I teach a position I call thrown position. It's essentially a standing human posture, with a little exception in that we're going to be moving forward to meet our handlebars. So we're going to be in a position where our knees are over our toes and our nose is somewhat over our knees. Obviously, we're going to move forward a little bit to meet the bars so the nose is out a little bit in front of us. So we're going to be in a position with our, with our hands on the bars and a relatively straight but not necessarily upright spine. This is really, really important as we want to make sure that we're in a position to actually retract our legs underneath us. If we move forward too much in the upper body and, and curve the upper body, we're simply not going to be able to lift our feet underneath us to allow us to have access to our human leg travel. One of the most important elements of this is to keep our eyes up at eye level. You can give this a try. You can stand up from your computer and hold your head down, looking down at the floor, and try to raise one foot with a flat sole as high as you can. You'll find you can't raise your foot very high. As soon as you bring your chin up and bring your eyes up to eye level, you'll be astounded at how high you can raise your foot. Basically, anything smaller than this on the trail is going to be absorbed by your body. So go out and give this a try. Start small and start slow, and eventually you'll be ripping down descents you never imagined you could ride.